The probe was crammed with equipment. There wasn't a piece of data this thing couldn't collect. But we wanted more than that. We wanted samples. The plan was that once the probe landed on the planet's surface, it would embark from one end of this ravine to the other. Pistachio chose the location. Along its way, it would collect a variety of samples. Once it reached its destination, it would launch a capsule of the samples into orbit for us to collect. Simple, right? So, back to the launch. All was good until the probe reached the planet's atmosphere, when instead of slowing down, it started speeding up. It just kept accelerating towards the surface. We couldn't do anything about it. We were sure it was going to crash. And then it just seemed to fall straight through the ground. What's more, it kept going. We lost signal maybe a minute later. Canary says the heat from entry must have fried its telemetry or something. My guess is that it was doing its best to get away from her. The amount of coffee consumed here is unfathomable. It was here that Canary would lead our morning briefings following the mandatory workout session. You know, it's interesting, all this technology and we've never really improved on an honest cup of coffee. Sure, we have plenty of ways to make you feel less tired, all of which are far more effective than coffee. Yet, here we are, still drinking the stuff. I think it's in the ritual of it all. There's comfort in it. Let me tell you, whenever I had a coffee in my hand, there wasn't a thing Canary could say to irritate me. She knew it too. Clever, really.
I'm sure you've been on your fair share of space vessels during your travels. Now, you may have noticed that the Alabaster has more origami swans than your average deep space vessel. Well, let me demystify you on the matter. Origami was one of Pistachio's fondest pastimes. And credit to her, she wasn't half bad. Her augmented hands probably helped her out. She started out making all sorts, but quickly found the swan to be her favorite. We'd find them in the weirdest places. She knew we all laughed about it. We'd be given multiple swans a week, all different sizes and colors. But honestly, that's just pistachio. Everything she did was in the interest of making us feel good. I miss those swans. Vermilion. I miss that old man. He just had this, like, warmth, you know? I could tell him about anything, and he would just summon wisdom like it was nothing. He was from Earth as well, which, I don't know, it's just nice. I I've never been there. He actually left Earth for the first time to come on this mission. That's what all the photos are of. His life on Earth. I know Pistachio was particularly interested in a photo album of his house. She used to sit and flick through it in her downtime. He used to live on the coast next to an ocean. Can you believe that? Huh? Oh, really? Did you have to come in here? Such a mess. Sorry. Messy room never really bothered me. I've heard it's a sign of intelligence, but honestly, if that were true, I probably wouldn't be stuck in this damn cockpit. Oh, if only I were trapped in there. I still never finished Pocketbook Wrestlers 3. It's crossed my mind a few times while I've been up here. God knows I've got time to finish it now. Last time I played, I was stuck but I reckon I now know how to get the paperclip mask from the stationary mountain to unlock the rubber band belt. Hey, maybe when we get out of here, we can play something together. We'll have a lot of time to kill getting back to civilization. I have to warn you though, I'm rather competitive. What's... oh... Uh, I am... Uh, I don't think I want to talk about this. Not now. Maybe never. Ugh, so empty. Almost clinical. Why is everything lined up like that? Just so you're aware, this is how everyone's bedroom looked before we moved our stuff in. Minus the fish, of course. Canary sure loved her fish. I think maybe she related to them on a personal level, you know? All cold-blooded and scaly, blank, expressionless eyes, her mouth doing that thing where it opens and closes all the time but nothing of any value ever comes out. 
but he was all right. It is so cozy in here. A vanilla-scented candle would not go amiss in here, would it? I used to come here all the time. Marmalade and I, we would come sit in here for hours with the fire on and just chill, you know? I don't know if you've noticed this about me, but I'm kind of talkative. He was the opposite. The anti-juniper, if you will. I think the time we spent together in here really helped us, or me at least, wind down and deal with being out here for so long. 